hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GT Sport video. This time around I just wanted to do a very quick one just outlining exactly what you're getting in update 1.41 as it came out today. Yet again it's not the biggest of updates, in fact we've only actually got 5 cars this time around and no additional track. However it is as always completely free so it's definitely nothing to turn your nose up at. Ok so let's kick this off by taking a look at the cars one by one here. First up we've got the Mazda Roadster Touring car, now it hasn't got plenty of power out the box, you're looking at 205 brake horsepower, however you can actually adjust this one up to around the 270 mark uh, from memory and it's definitely a car I want to be covering here on the channel in terms of a drift setup. The one big thing to remember though with this car is that it only weighs 795 kilograms so although it is a little bit light on the power it should still be really good fun around the track. It slots straight into the N200 category and it costs 80,000 credits. Next up we've got the Honda Civic Type R back from 1998. Now in terms of me covering this one on the channel it's going to be a little bit difficult. It's certainly not going to be very good as a drift car seeing as it's front wheel drive. However out on a track a little bit like the Integra we had a few months back now it is absolutely solid. Tweak the ride height and the natural frequency and this thing is going to be difficult to beat within its own category. Now in terms of that it falls into the N200 category as well and this one only costs 20,000 credits so there's no excuse not to give this one a go. Then we have a bit of an older car here, this is the Honda S800 back from 1966. This one will set you back 58,000 credits and it falls into the N100 category. Now in terms of power this is very light indeed with only 68 brake horsepower and the weight's at 720 kilograms. For some of you out there this might be a really exciting addition, for me personally uh, I'm not too fussy about this, I haven't actually played with it yet though so I can't really comment, um, I'll definitely pick it up and have a go. Another very exciting addition for me at least anyway is the Porsche 911 Turbo from 1981. This one falls into the N300 category, it costs 100,000 credits. And I love classic Porsches, I love the whole rear engine, rear wheel drive feel, um, certainly from a drifting aspect. Uh, this one comes with 295 brake horsepower straight out of the box. It weighs 1300 kilograms and it is highly tunable. Um, so this one again is definitely one I'm going to be doing here on the channel very shortly. And lastly it's a car that I definitely won't be picking up, not because I don't want it but because I can't afford it. This one's 15 million credits, it goes into the Group X category and it's the Jaguar D-Type from 1954. It's a beautiful looking car, it comes with 249 brake horsepower and it weighs 850 kilograms so it should be pretty good around the track. However, just like most of the cars that get thrown into this Group X category, they become a bit of a useless entity. Uh, there's so many different types of car now in Group X that it's difficult to find something to race against um, that's going to be close enough. So ultimately, you're just going to be racing against other D-types and that's going to be about it. Aside from the cars though, there are some other bits that have been added in in update 1.41. We've now got the Sardinia Road Track as part of the circuit experience. As always this is a very very quick and easy way to make a lot of money, um, I managed to get through the entire circuit experience in under 10 minutes and get golds on all and on top of that obviously you get a gift car as well. Which as you can see I was lucky enough to get the brand new Civic Type R which I just bought about 2 minutes before I actually did the uh, circuit experience so that was a total waste of money. I swear one day this game will actually give me some of the prestige cars uh, that I really really need but until then I'll just keep getting these cars that are worth about 20,000 credits. On top of that we've also had the Open Spaces Special Collection added to the scapes part of the game. I have had a brief look through this and it looks like a lot of them are actually just um, ones that were already in the game, they've just been put into this folder essentially so it's easier to find. But if you're into scapes and things like that you might find this useful. For me I'm not a massive user of it so it doesn't interest me too much. And lastly they've added one more section to the campaign mode which is the World Hatchback Championship. Now this comprises of 5 races and it's an excellent place to use that new Civic Type R that's been added into the game. I had a quick flick through the events and decided I was going to have a go at race number 5 uh, which is actually just a single lap of the Nürburgring against 15 other cars. With just a little bit of a suspension adjustment I found the Civic Type R was absolutely destroying the competition when I went around this course. Admittedly I did have to tuck in behind an A45 down the straight or I was going to be left miles behind but it worked a treat and actually came first on my first attempt. 
Like I say, it's not the biggest one, but I have really enjoyed the update so far, the bits that I've actually played with. I'd really like to hear your thoughts down in the comments section um, about what you've been enjoying from this update or what you particularly don't like about it. Equally, let me know down below as well what you would like to see me doing from this update here on the channel first. I'd like to cover a couple of uh, different drift setups. So probably going to be the touring car and the Porsche to begin with. But like I say, let me know if there's anything else you would like to see me doing. That's it. Just a very quick one. That's all I wanted to cover on this. Make sure if you haven't done so already, you subscribe to the channel. And also, if you've enjoyed it, just give the video a quick like. And I'll see you all on the next one.